<laughs> now, the reason why we pulled that up, the topic is going to be trash talk. Gears, what we all know what trash talk is about. We saw old man Fatal up there. It, it's pretty funny because I actually had a debate um, earlier when I was at the airport with um, my man Ace Dolo, real popular streamer. He talks about how trash talk can can damage viewership. Other games, they, they don't do trash talk because they, they care about viewership. Check out these numbers. On that clip where Explosive was yelling at Firearm, 633,000 views. She got 25,000 likes, almost 7,000 retweets. Right after that, when Optic actually beat GNT Esports, almost 230,000 views, almost 6,000 likes, and 1.4 thousand retweets. So the one thing I want to say about that is that Gears of War, keep doing you, don't change. Um, clean up, stop saying the N-word. I personally feel like text should go out um, for that. Other than that, keep keep the trash talk, you know, fresh, keep it coming. Um, be you in the interviews because this is the one thing in the game that we have over every other esport because nobody else can top nobody else can top it like we do. But um yes. music, man. Um when it comes to trash talk, like what's your point of view on that in Gears of War, man? I, I fucking love it. The way I look at it, man, me personally, is I know when I'm yelling at people, me, musics, people, I mean, they look at me like I'm really getting yelled at by this kid right now. Who is this kid? Like, look at him. Yeah. Like, I'm getting beat by this kid right now. And just me, I mean, it, it's really like, you know, getting in their head. And just, like I said, yeah. I think me, per it being me personally has a lot to do with why it's successful. And like I said, on I actually got interviewed. She asked me, the, the, the girl asked me, she said, have you ever had to eat your words? And I said, yeah. I said, yeah, of course yeah. I have. I mean, it happens. Like, but... You don't stop it because it's it's part of your game plan and going into some of the games you play is part of the strategy. The mental part of Gears of War has a lot to do with your in-game performance. And of course, you know yeah, that. That momentum. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Horace put in the chat. Um, I think it's less about the viewers and more about the sponsors and orgs, et cetera. If that's the case, you know, slap um, DQs if you throw out the N-word, you know, can't say the B-word. Other than that, fair game. Say hell, say damn, say ass, you know, all that. Talk trash, make it fresh, you know, make it fun. Um, also, in regards to orgs and sponsors, I mean, also you gotta think about it. Orgs and sponsors, they wanna go to a popular game, right? When Praise talked trash to Echo Fox, we jumped up to 60,000 viewers. 60,000 viewers is a lot of damn viewers in the most Gears of War has ever had. When that happened, websites wrote articles about us. You know, websites were retweeting us. Big, big pages were retweeting us. Optic, optic people at the top retweeted us. We were so we're we're so popular after events because of the trash talk. And you know what that's gonna do? It makes our game popular. Or does it want to come in? You know, hey, yeah, sixty thousand viewers. Oh shit! You know, what if it happens again? Praise goes off on a crazy interview. We get a hundred thousand viewers. You think that's not gonna bring attention from sponsors and orgs? Like you're out of your mind. Yeah. A lot of people aren't going to like trash talking, but you know what? A lot of people don't like the same thing. I like pineapples on pizza. Colin probably hates it. Colin, do you hate it? No, I don't. I love it, actually. I do. All right, there we go. That's my brother right there, man. That's my brother. But it's just like, you guys have to realize that drama and sports in general is actually a really good thing, actually. Yours work, like I said, 60K at our um, most hype event when it came to trash talk. Um, for the UFC, Conor McGregor, you know, Floyd Mayweather is what they do best. So anybody that wants to really put down trash talking the Gears of War, you got to kind of look at the, the factual side of things, okay? You can't just say, oh, it's stupid because you personally don't like the aggression. And it's not like people talk trash just to fight. It's in game because at the end of the day, we fist bump, we high five, we move on. Heza and Speedy, if they go up to each other right now, you know what they're going to do? They're probably going to hug and dap up and, and talk about the event. So, Colin, do you, like, do you agree with me? Do I sound crazy? What's going on, man? Because I, I'm tired actually, of the argument. It helps us. Actually, from everybody's favorite little black book where I do all my research, I got three examples for you to help you out with trash talk and why trash talk should never go anywhere in the entire world. What was the biggest bandwagon fandom 
What jersey was the highest selling jersey for three years running in the NFL between 2012 and 2015? It was Richard Sherman. He talked more trash in the NFL. And Carter's got liver pills. And wait, wait, wait. wait, Let me add on to that. Richard Sherman also got endorsed. Richard Sherman also got endorsed by a lot of companies. He made millions of dollars because of trash talking. But go on. Next one. Why did everybody tune in to every single Duke Blue Devils game when a certain man was there talking trash to every single human being that would listen to him? And they even made a special about him on ESPN because everybody hates Christian Leitner. And all Christian Leitner did was talk trash to every other soul that was on the court (laughs) from him. But everybody watched because everybody wanted to see the man talking all the trash get beat by somebody, anybody. They were looking for a prayer. And my third and final response, who makes the most money in boxing in the history of the sport? Uh, Floyd Money Mayweather. So much shit. And I don't think that man has shut up since he came out the womb. He has done nothing but let everybody know he's better than them since the day he put on a pair of gloves. So for anybody that ever tells us tracks talking is not where it's at, two big things for you. One. It's what makes Gears of War unique. You don't go to a shop looking for a specialty item. You don't go to Walmart looking for that specialty item. You don't go to Target looking for that specialty item. You want to come to this shop, you come to the Gears of War headquarters, baby. And you are going to get the best trash talk you've ever heard in your life. Something that might make your mama blush, but you ain't never going to forget it as long (laughs) as you walk this earth. And if you want the best kind of intense, passionate gameplay, you can open the door. And you can look down the street at Call of Duty and all that. that, That's a little routine. You see that happening. You can look down the other side of the street. You see Dota. That's a little in-depth. There's a lot of champions of that. There's a lot going on. And it's got huge viewership. It's got the most money in history. The Invitational will probably always be the biggest eSports tournament. But if you want the passion where somebody's going to get up and be willing to throw everything they have, blood, sweat, tears, until the day they get put six feet in the ground, It's right here in Gears of War. There ain't nowhere else to be. I, I can't have said it better. I can't. How do you even follow music? Follow up, man. I'll, you can't say nothing after that. You got an A plus. That's all I'm gonna say. You got a. <laughs> you your pack, your pack's ready to go. Yeah, exactly. Very, yeah, but trash talk. I'm, I'm way pretty much that separates my baby from it. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Trash talk is really what separates people from. I mean, other teams, you know what I mean? People love people. You, you grow a fan base because people like that hype. And I, I know there is people out there that say that, oh, trash talk's bad. This dude looks stupid for getting up screaming. It's a video game, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's, it's, it's part of the game and it's what makes, like y'all said, Gears of War, Gears of War. I, I saw, I, I already uh, rewatched the stream and there was people in the chat saying, I haven't seen trash talk like this since Gears 1, Gears 2. Like, it's it's what makes Gears of War Gears of War, and if the, if you don't want to see that and you don't want to be a part of that, then don't watch the stream and don't be involved in it because you know what Gears is going to bring. You know it brings the hype. There's no and it's it's that simple. It's it, it comes with the game. It comes with Gears of War in the name. <laughs> hey, and that's it. That's why Gears of War is about to be. Listen, uh, it's Gears of War is the best game when it comes to trash talk. It's going to be the best game when it comes to robberies for years to come. And I hope it continues to stay that way. If you don't like trash talk, like music said, if it's not your thing, turn the channel. It's not going to hurt you. But for the people that love it, uh, I feel like we should continue to push that out there. I feel like the pro players, it's really big on them that the pro players are actually, um, they should, you know, really let their personality shine during these interviews. You know, don't hold back. You know, if you think a team is trash, be like, yo, music, you you played against response, you beat them, yo, lava's trash. See why I got kicked off of Optic. You know, like, t- like really, like, speak up on stuff like that. Yo, shout out to Lava of No Shade. But um, it's, it's something that should really, um, you know, circle around all the, the pro player um, teams because that's what we need, you know, help grow your game and really be yourself. Don't be shy because people are tuning in for entertainment and they, they tune in because they want to hear praise, you know, pop off. They want to hear explosive, you know, bet his whole house on a game. And yeah, going from there.